The first time I saw the impacts of mining was when I was living in a small fishing village in the Philippines, where I was for my studies. And on the day that I first arrived on this small island, the people immediately took me out to a wide fishing bay and they showed me the pipes where a Canadian mining company that was operating in the mountains of this island was dumping its mine waste directly into their fishing bay. And there was so much waste in this bay that we were actually able to drive out on a causeway of solid mine waste. And as we did that, the breezes of the sea blew up this fine material and we essentially drove into a fog of, of mine waste. At one point a dam burst, and as the waste behind that dam flooded down the Mokpok River, it actually smothered two children. Three years later, another dam burst, and another river was inundated with mine tailings from the mountains all the way to the sea. When I got back to Canada, I tried to do something about the situation. I wrote letters, I approached organizations that might be able to help, I wrote for newspapers, but there really wasn't an organization in Canada at that time that could take this issue on. Mining Watch Canada had not been created yet. Mining Watch Canada was founded by people who knew that the only way we can hope to affect change is to work in common cause with communities, with the people in the direct path of mining, so to speak. Abroad and at home, the Canadian government acts as a promoter of the mining industry. Here in Canada, the federal government is also joined by provincial and territorial governments that often give priority to mining over other land uses and economic activities. This is often to the detriment of indigenous peoples, local residents, plans for protected areas, or the use of renewable resources like fresh water and fisheries. Canada is home to some 60% of the world's publicly traded mining companies. Their operations have given rise to many serious complaints. Nonetheless, Canada has failed to implement mandatory rules to hold companies to account, while aggressively promoting the industry and working to shore up its interests. Mining Watch Canada joins with people around the world to defend citizens' rights and the environment from the impacts of irresponsible mining. We need support to continue this work.